Hello everybody, welcome back to V Games Gone Wild. I think I fixed all my problems. Hopefully you guys can see the whole screen now. Thank you for your being patience. And now we're going to get a good look at the game and see what it's all about. Because it looks very beautiful and I want you guys to be able to see what I see. So, here we go. This is Notch, the Innocent Luna, Eclipse Sinners. Yes, I think we're in business. It looks good. Yes. Okay, yeah, this is what I wanted. We're, we're good now. I can see everything. You can see everything. And I'm not going to try and read all that because it goes by so quick. <laughs> I was actually going to start green screening today because I went out and bought a green sheet so you guys could, like, see my face while I'm talking. But I'll just do that tomorrow. Wow, this game looks so pretty, too. Look at it. But the sad thing is, I don't know nothing about it. I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a reader. Salami! <laughs> Dara, you made her hungry! <laughs> Can you guys hear and see everything okay? All right, cool, thanks. Ooh, Pantsu. The artwork is beautiful so far. I wonder what the gameplay is going to be like. And again, if you guys want to watch this again or go back later and watch it any other time, you can go to YouTube. It's on Domination Gaming Channel. As soon as I'm done recording here on Twitch, I'll go ahead and change it over to YouTube so you guys can watch it again later. Dara has been shopping all day. Oh, you guys can see my mouse. I didn't want you to watch my mouse, but that's okay. Notch, the innocent Luna. Okay, uh, settings. We gotta change anything. I don't know if it's English or not. Okay, I just turned my mouse off so you guys can't see my mouse now. Ha ha. Okay. Alright, this looks good. We'll go ahead and play it like this and we'll just start. Hopefully this will be a cool game, not a crap game, because I don't know what it is. It was on sale and it looked pretty, so I thought I'd buy it. But I got like five other games I'm going to be playing for you guys within the next couple days, so... Game start. Alpha episode. <clears throat> Can you tell me your family name? Please enter the protagonist's family name. Asakawa. No, what do we got? We gotta have a name. What kind of name do we want? Kakashi. This is the Kakashi family name. No, wait. Kakashi's name was Ahedeki, uh, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's go right. Let's make it hockey. What is your given name? Please enter the protagonist's first name. Okay. Kakashi. I think I just gave a chick Kakashi's name. Kakashi means scarecrow in English, so... She is, her name is Scarecrow. <laughs> this story is fictional. Please treat it as a fantasy show. Any resemblance to any organizations or persons is purely coincidental. Takashi Haruki. Yeah, Haruki means dry field. So Kakashi Haruki means Scarecrow in the dry field. Notch, the innocent Luna. 
see what this game's all about. The sky is dark. The wind roars as a fierce rain pours down. The heavy rain can be heard far and wide, evoking a feeling of sadness. A black cloud is creeping its way along the dark sky. It spreads far and wide as if it's devouring everything. The heavy rain spatters in the forest near the town. It's midnight. The distant town and the forest are all shrouded in an uncomfortable silence. A mysterious visitor breaks the silence a while later. A blurred figure appears in the distance amongst the dense water mist. Thin steps can be heard in the heavy rain. A man in a black outfit is walking towards the depths of the forest. The forest seems to have a guest tonight. He probably wants to remain unknown as he is wearing black all over. A giant stuffed bag is on his back. Oh, it's Black Santa Claus. The corners of the bag sag greatly, suggesting that something heavy is inside. It's a body. The man in black walks quite slowly. He doesn't seem to be bothered by the giant bag. He advances slowly. Some liquid is dripping out of the bag. Even on a dark night, the liquid is clearly visible. It's blood. The liquid's color is totally different from the transparent and pure water. There must be something unusual inside the bag. Wherever he passes by, a distinctive trail is left. To this forest immersed in darkness, the man in black is no stranger. The heavy rain and muddy road keep people from trespassing. Yeah, I can't read too many books because of copyright laws, so I have to be very selective on what I do read, and I have to get permission to do stuff. So I don't do too many books anymore, just games. But he doesn't seem to care about the heavy rain. On the contrary, he looks like he's enjoying the rain and walks quite slowly. Afraid of waking up the sleeping forest, he barely makes a sound. However, the liquid inside the bag is dripping more and more, and nearly the whole bag is stained. What am I going to do with it? People may notice me if I'm not doing something about it. Is it really difficult to bring the whole thing back? The man's abrupt words break the silence, but he's alone, so nobody hears or responds. His cold voice is drowned out by the sound of the rain. Hmm. It's okay not to bring back the whole body this time. I'm going to dispose of it here. Blurting out these words, the man in black throws the bag on the ground heavily. A muffled sound is heard. Only a soft object bumping into the hard ground can make such a sound. More and more liquid oozes out due to his violence. The man becomes impatient and unpacks the bag rudely. A human body suddenly comes out. It's a beautiful girl who is lifelessly packed in the bag. She looks like she's sound asleep. Neither the pouring rain nor the man's violent throw can wake her up. The unknown liquid is from her body. It keeps oozing. Her body is covered by the thick colored liquid. The liquid is her blood. She lost excessive amounts of blood and died. The man stares closely at the girl. She is such a beauty, but she's lying in a pool of blood. Poor girl. Smiling, he draws a sharp knife from his waist. What kind of game am I playing? <laughs> his cold eyes reflecting the moonlight are somehow very clear. He slowly bends down and points the knife at the girl, with his eyes filled with contempt and indifference. He is chopping up a dead body. His knife flashes under the moonlight. The girl's fair skin is cut open, and blood comes gushing out like a spring. 
She, however, is as quiet as a doll. If she were alive, she would not have been able to stand the pain. The gash on her body continues gushing with blood, staining his face and body. He dips his finger in, his bl in her blood and sucks it. Delicious. <laughs> he said it too! Delicious. Pity, it's such a pity not to bring it all back. But I can't risk being spotted, so I'll leave it here. What kind of games are you guys making me play? <laughs> With another flash, he cuts off a piece of flesh from her. It is such a brutal cut, more cruel than ever, that exposes her organs and causes them to scatter all over. Okay, it's enough. He looks at the tender flesh from the girl and glances at her broken body. It doesn't even matter if people see her. Who will be the first to find this poor thing? I really want to know. <laughs> if her body hasn't decayed when it's found, her flesh will still be edible. What do you guys got me playing? The man in black bursts out in cold, harsh laughter before quickly running into the depths of the forest. Oh, by the way, I cannot see how many people are in the room, so if you guys can every now and then update me, let me know if people are actually watching this, or if I'm just, like, playing it by myself. <laughs> the footsteps once again break the silence in the forest. He soon disappears in the distance. The poor dead girl is still lying in the cold water, with her skin washed pale by the rain. Okay, well that's one heck of an opening. Chapter 1, Dark Nightmare. The Day We Cease to Live. Well, apparently this is going to be a reader, not a video game. I didn't know that, but I'm, I'm interested, so we'll see. I am alone in a strange and gloomy corridor and can't remember how I got here and what happened to me. The corridor stretches on ahead of me, widening and endless. There are countless doors to the dark rooms on the sides of the corridor. The air is filled with the suffocating smell of blood that seems to come from those dark rooms. I keep walking in the corridor and stay away from those rooms. I have never been here before. The smell of blood is everywhere in the corridor. What is this place? What is inside those dark rooms? It scares me to think about it. The only thing I want to do is go through the corridor and leave this place as soon as possible. The sound of cold objects colliding, accompanied by the sound of liquid splattering, can be heard unceasingly in the corridor. These sounds creep me out. What exactly is in here? Where is the smell of blood coming from? I have no idea where those sounds are from. What has happened or is happening in those rooms? Could they be places where a psychopathic murderer dismembers bodies and stores them? Ideas like this can make me very fearful. I'm aware of how chilled and fearful I feel even though the corridor isn't that cold. I'm afraid something bad may happen to me if I don't leave right now. I increase my pace and walk towards the end of the corridor. I don't know how long I've been walking. I just focus on the path ahead. It seems to take forever to go through the corridor. When I look around, I find myself in a different place. I can tell that I didn't stay put or keep going around in circles. At first, I was able to see sunlight through the windows of the corridor. Now it's pitch dark.